County Durham, best known for its coal. And yet, other layers of valuable rock formed after the coal also lie beneath these fields. Frislington Quarry covers 254 acres, the size of 130 football pitches. We're one of the largest quarries in the northern part of England and in a matter of a year we'll drill and blast over one and a half million tonne. 40% of it goes into the steel making process, around about the 50% goes into the road construction industry and the other 10% is the agricultural market and that's mainly exported. Each blast creates a bench exposing a layer approximately 15 metres high, which exploits the natural formation of the sediments. Starting from the top is a very, very soft magnesium limestone, which we just need to remove to various parts of the quarry. The next two benches down are for the steel industry. The third bench down is for the road construction industry. Underneath that we have a marl slate which is a mudstone. We remove that to obtain the sand bench which is right at the base of the quarry. Of the three benches of dolomitic limestone, only the lowest is hard enough for use as a roadstone. Mobile crushing units are tracked right up to the rock face to reduce the blasted material to a mixture of different sized fragments. These are then screened and graded into separate size ranges. Once the aggregate is being crushed and screened, it's stockpiled right next to the units themselves and the road wagons will come down to be loaded at source, ready to go out to the various locations within the northeast. We have different sizes of aggregates, mainly the used for the roadstone, which is a 50 millimeter down to sort of dust. That's the main sub-base elements. The capping layer that goes underneath that is 100 millimeter down to dust. But then we do have various lower sizes, which goes into concrete aggregate, which goes into pipe beddings, and we also have general fills, which are the cheaper elements of the sub-base. This dolomitic limestone is a good, cheap material for the sub-base and capping layers of a road, which need to be both load-bearing and provide good drainage. But for the top layer of road surfacing, a more specialised aggregate is required. This can be found 50 miles away in Northumberland. 300 million years ago, molten magma forced its way up through faults in the Earth's crust. As it cooled, it crystallised into vertical and horizontal sheets of dark, igneous rock. One of these horizontal sheets, the Windsill, forms outcrops from the Northumberland coast down to Yorkshire. Divitil Quarry, 15 miles from Newcastle. Though smaller than Thrislington, it supplies a stone that is ideal for all layers of the road. Normally at Divitil we blast once a month with around about 15,000 tonnes a month. Over the last year, because of a particular contract to the Ministry of Defence, we've been blasting once a week um, similar tonnages so that we are upwards of half a million tonnes output over that period. Few rocks quarried in the UK are as durable or as hard to crush as windsill dolerite. But its most valuable property is its high polished stone value, which ensures good friction for the road surfaces where it's used. We have a fairly typical crushing process, which initially is a large primary jaw crusher, which takes lump rock from approximately a metre in size down to approximately two to five millimetres down. It's then secondary crushed in a cone crusher, which again is fairly typical in this kind of industry, which produces a 75 millimetre down product. And finally, the smaller sizes are put through an impact crusher to improve the shape, which produces 
nominally a 28 mm down material of good size and good shape. From the crusher, the rock fragments are screened and graded into six or seven standard industry sizes. One of the most important aspects of any construction material in this industry is the grading, which enables the material to be compacted easily and it gives a dense product. In asphalt terms, because we need different surface textures on different routes to provide skidding resistance, we also have different sizes of materials that go into the various asphalt products. Half of the aggregate produced at Divot Hill goes to their asphalt coating plant. The coating plant heats up in a tube dryer uh, quantities of material of all sizes to approximately 200 degrees C. Once it's reached that temperature, the material is again sorted into six or seven different sizes and re-blended into various constituents to manufacture the types of road product that we need to make. In road design, factors such as how the road is being laid and what type of traffic will use it all determine the makeup of the road layers and the mix of materials used. Like most quarries, Divotil use mobile crushers to meet specific customer demand. The mobile crushing unit is used to provide material of a different size and shape to the main quarry plant. The two materials produced by the crusher are a 300mm down and a 150mm down aggregate. They're used for the two lower levels of road construction, the larger size in capping on the subgrade and the smaller size in final capping and type 1 subbase. Dust is a major issue within the quarrying industry as a whole. We take quite a number of measures on site to reduce dust at source by sheeting in buildings and back that up with mobile dust suppression units to damp down roads to minimise the dust as vehicles are travelling on them. Cheap, bulk aggregate can't be transported far to market before the costs become prohibitive. All materials leave the quarry in road vehicles, either insulated or articulated stone carrying vehicles. Uh, the material can usually travel in the region of 20 to 25 miles economically before we come into competition with other local material sources. <laughs>